Okay. Hopefully this can um, hopefully this can go over really well because uh, this is my first video where I'm I'm gonna try to initiate building my um, my uh, channel and my content and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over something inside of a group that I attend and right now it's two groups um, and I want to um, I want to try to uh, bring attention to both of them so the one that uh, that this one is is a free group that is uh, that is ran by Max Illingworth he's a, uh, a grandmaster a uh, very nice guy and I've uh, been in association with him for I think the better part of the year now and um, uh, a lot of the content that he puts out is pretty high quality and uh, uh, you could take your time and and uh, focus on whatever material that you need to provided that you are members of whatever group that you need to be. This one, um, I believe, is uh, mostly a uh, get to know what type of stuff you can do. Uh, you could ask questions, and people will answer questions. And um, I believe Max is pretty active in this one. Um, sometimes I'm faster than him at answering questions, so if he if he likes my answers, uh, he may leave it alone. Um, in this case, um, I thought that it would be beneficial if I answered a question that not only related to these groups, but related to a question about other things like, like um, uh, let's say, where I play or something like that. And in this case, it would be uh, Lee Chess, Lie Chess, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, so the comment was kind of a joke comment because uh, he asked a question about the analysis features in ICC and chess.com and wanted to know what the benefits of playing in either one of them are with that analysis feature uh, and wanted to know how to do it in chess.com uh, ICC's uh, analysis feature is pretty in-depth and very powerful so uh, you can set up an examine and invite people and you can even turn on discord and talk while you're analyzing the game and anybody that has control of the board in ICC can move the pieces around freely independently and ICC will keep track of the move list the main move list as long as you have made sure that ICC knows what the main move list is and then you can go back and forth you can you can monkey around with variations um, I don't know what chess.com can do. I've heard that there's a similar to Lee Chess, or maybe like Lee Chess, but in between Lee Chess and ICC. So I don't really know what they do. Um, if I was to uh, guess, I would say they, they are directly in between. When it comes to benefits, they're in between ICC and Lee Chess, because uh, they might be a little bit better than ICC. In my opinion, Lee Chess is the best when it comes to analysis, uh, and they're the best anyway. So, for right now, I don't know anybody that's really any any better, except for uh, Chess Twenty Four comes pretty close. But I don't know what their analysis feature is like. I probably should look into that since I'm a member. Okay, so that's the basis of this question. Um, this is my comment where I said, uh, Lee Chess, it's free, does everything both of them do. And then of course I posted a little joke comment. Um, so the questions that I wanted to address was um, this one first. So he had three questions and I wanted to address them real quick. They're very important because it really doesn't matter. The, the first one here, uh, I'm gonna give you a second to read it, but uh, the first one is very, very important because this goes, this transcends pretty much all of chess. 
it's a very misunderstood topic uh, and that is ratings so what I want to do and I forgot to pull it up before I started this but I want to show you something and uh, this might help this might help uh, uh, with it so Well, it doesn't have his quote. That's interesting. This actually goes in depth of like little technical issues. All right. So what the question basically said is that, is it true that ratings there are quite highly inflated? Meaning to reach 2,000 plus at Lee Chess, it's not as hard at as at ICC where 17 and 1900 are tough nuts. Okay, what this is insinuating is is that people in ICC seem to be tougher at a certain rating, and what what that is is that's misunderstanding of what uh, pool statistics are, which is uh, a group of people where you have let's say over uh, 500 people who are competing let's say for the same thing and they're all competing against each other okay you have to in, in pool statistics you have to stay within the pool that you're that you're um, that you're assessing you can't go outside of the pool okay uh, I'll explain how you can go outside of the pool in a second but um, if we go over here and we look at my profile and I'm going to go to my new rating which I have been um, uh, promoting a little bit because I got my 2200 rating back so what this is saying is is that um, you're better than whatever percent of players in rapid and then it gives you statistics based on the rapid it, ha it even has uh, my lowest rating and it has my highest rating so I've been as high as 2240 at some point um, it has my defeats and, and my worst uh, my worst defeats and my best victories so what this is telling you is everything that has to do within that pool and uh, you have to stay inside the pool for it to be accurate and let's say universe let's say universe okay we don't have to say we don't have to say pool um, if you're if you're familiar with the multiverse theory each universe in the multiverse theory when you um, interact with them you know they can apparently pass through each other but they don't notice each other they're on a different dimension dimensional level and they don't know that they're there and they don't even interact whatsoever um, there is an idea that if you could pass through the uh, through them you'd be able to see both but let's sit, stick with the idea that you can only see that okay and what the what the rating does is it tells you what your past performance is it doesn't even tell you what your current strength is um, you can estimate your current strength based on the rating and that's that's about the best you could do um, especially if you're very 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 active so there is no such thing as ratings being inflated 
when it comes to comparing them from one rating system to another because there's no there's no correlation in that in that factor they're, they're not inflated um, you can go to a another site for example or another organization where the rating system is a little different and everybody can be in between 900 and 1300 and you might find out that masters are the ones that are in between uh, 1250 and 1300 and then you know you go on down the line that does not mean that those ratings are deflated in comparison to USCF they're different you have to compare them logically now I'm going to tell you how you can compare them the only way to compare them is to do it in a way that has a lot of people that are in the same um, rating category uh, free chess uh, FICS I don't know some people call it fix I don't know what people call it these days it's about it's a little bit younger than ICC and it's uh, they refer to it as like the bastard child of ICC anyway um, they had a uh, robot or a bot that would uh, be logged into the server and you could put your stats into it and it, if you don't have one of the stats that it had it had the ability to theoretically predict what you might um, be in another system so let's say you had uh, USCF right and then you had FIDE right and then you wanted to know what your British chess federation rating would be or grade would be what it would do is it would take uh, you and your rating and it would compare your rating to people in the FIDE rating right and then it would compare your FIDE rating to the USCF rating and it have a big old triangle so it would also compare uh, your rating at the site to the USCF rating right and it would match them up to as many people as possible okay and then it would estimate your rating based on that now our problem back then when we were doing this was is that there just wasn't enough people in order to do this properly I think the estimation was is that you need at least 500 people in each rating system that are in the same thing so like if I wanted to have this accurate I needed um, at least 500 people that were rated leap uh, FICS and then I would need another 500 people who were also rated USCF and FIDE all at the same time so that they could compare it and then spit out a rating for the uh, British Federation and that's that's a triangle uh, effect um, you need a lot of people in order to try to estimate and then there has to be what's called a, a margin of error right and the margin of error is generally about a about a hundred points up and down so if you were let's say 1800 in uh, 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 what do you call it FIDE and they wanted to you wanted to find out what your USCF was and it spit out uh, 2000 that doesn't mean that people are stronger in FIDE what that means is is that they had enough people to kind of give an estimation as to what your USCF rating was based off the FIDE ratings the people that were in the same thing um, let's see now I do have to address another side of this there is a ratings deflation and a ratings inflation that is naturally inherent to all rating systems uh, I think chess.com and most of the new sites uh, use Glico 2 uh, that's a new form uh, different calculations but it looks very similar to ELO 
and I think Fide still uses Elo, but they were considering moving up to Glico too. Um, the idea was that USCF rating system or Fide rating system based on Elo had a natural inflation. So over time, as more people gathered in, the ratings were offset by a certain amount every so often, and I think they said about 20 years. And people would um, get stronger, okay? And the ratings would seem to that uh, you would go down in the rating system. And um, I think they called that a natural deflation. Uh, people that didn't keep up with it every 20 years or so would go would seem like that they were going down so an expert 20 years ago would seem like that they were um, 18 or 1900 today um, another thing that would cause an inflation or deflation is a rapid um, influx of people uh, like for example uh, about 20 years ago there was a very rapid uh, uh, sign up for children um, I don't know what the rate was, but it, it was very rapid. And the fact that all the kids that signed up were all starting off at their age groups because USCF doesn't have one um, age or for one rating. Uh, if you're above 25, they always start you out at about 1200. But if you're younger than 25, they have a mathematical equation where um, you multiply uh, your age by 50 and then whatever that is that's what your rating is so if you're 10 right if you multiply that by 50 that's you know 500 so when you start off at 10 years old your rating is 500 and that's what caused a lot of the problems where people thought that they started seeing a ratings deflation that is true deflation all rating systems have something like that there's a rumor, I believe, that Glico 1 had a, nat a natural inflation that compensated for USCF's deflation. And then Glico 2 came out, and Glico 2 was supposed to compensate Glico 1. I don't know if that actually happened or not. So, uh, I think that might sum up what that is. So there is such thing as inflation but it's within the own captive system and then there is no such thing as inflation when it comes to uh, going from rating pool to rating pool okay you could do like a a very narrow type comparison like if you have three buddies who um, where you're in both sites and they're in both sites, you can compare your ratings and see how it is, but you still have a very large margin of error, much, much larger than if you had 500 people. Okay, I think I covered that well enough. Um, so we're gonna move, we're gonna move to this one, which um, I wasn't quite sure yet. about the answer to this. So I went over to, I went over to the, uh, there's a, they have a, Leeches has a uh, Discord channel, which has been very helpful to me lately. And I asked them what the, um, what the procedure, if they knew what the procedure was for this question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the question. This is the question. Okay, I'll give you a second to read it. Okay, so the difference between Lee Chess and um, ICC is that it's very common to know that ICC does have an adjournment feature. That if, uh, FICS also has this, where if you set it up to uh, have the ability to adjourn and resume, like if you have a bad connection, they will, they will save it 
inside of a an area in their system where you can resume it at a later date. Um, there is a lot of problems with that system because some people will will try to avoid losses by disconnecting. And I've had a game on free chess once that w literally was five years old and he did not want to um, continue it. The thing is, is that sometimes something like that is so forgettable that you you can have the darn game in there for that long and just forget about it but still once you realize that it's in there it could be annoying that it's there and you kind of want might want to get it out so that's one of the problems with that okay lee chess and i think um chess.com has stopped that so you, you can't really adjourn unless chess.com has it somewhere i don't know um but lee chess does not as far as i'm aware and when you go back over here this is the answer okay so basically what that says you can read it if you want to ignore me but basically what that says is is that according to the uh, rules of the league it is against terms of service to claim victory or claim draw um, in the event it disconnects so you're sitting there and you see the little pop-up that says um, your opponent has left the game you you can claim victory or claim a draw in such and such seconds uh, 45 minute games and higher and all that they usually have about a two to four minute wait time and shorter games have a shorter time limit so like one minute might have 30 seconds or 45 seconds so when that pops up you have the option of clicking that and it will automatically claim a win or a draw based on what you choose most people claim win of course uh, some people who are more you know respectful or something like that if their position's not so clear they might select uh, draw um, there is consequences for leaving a game and not returning so you have to go through like a like a process contact a TD and uh, if they're too late to to have come back in a recent amount of time then the TD will tell you what to do and then there's also um, what do you call it uh, appeals for players who disconnect and their opponent has used the claim victor or claim draw feature so they would get sanctions if they break the, the terms of service so I think that um, I think that answers the question um, it is basically kind of like a almost a, a gentleman's agreement but this is more than a gentleman's agreement because um, you have uh, the team league to back you up I don't know if Lee Chess will back you up they might but um, you have things like if they claim victory or draw the TV can decide that you won the game if it was uh, against you and then uh, I think that answers the question so that was pretty quick I think uh, this here is under this site if you'd like to go there um, uh, let's see I could probably put the link in the description for you I'm gonna I'm gonna put a lot of links in the description that way anything that I talk about you can visit so <sighs> So that's the first link I don't know what order I'm gonna put it in so I'm gonna do things like uh, uh, put links in the description so I'm gonna have a link to Lee Chess and I'm gonna have a link to uh, uh, 
items for uh, Max Illingworth's uh, group. And um, let's see. So let's go to the third. This is a third question that's, I, I've never actually seen this question. So it was an interesting question and it was, uh, it's, it's a pretty good one. Um, and what he's wondering is, apparently there's a rumor that if it's true that when you're caught cheating at Lee Chess, it might consist of um, somebody being caught switching tasks or going to an application on a computer like email, messenger, or uh, YouTube, or whatever else you multitask while you're playing a chess game, especially a long one. So first what I'm going to say is yes. One of the features that Lee Chess has is a task switch detector. Uh, I think they call it uh, phasing, where it's, uh, it's a way of uh, detecting increase in task switching. Okay, so it's not necessarily that you switch the tasks, it's when you switch the tasks, how long you switch the tasks, and I, I think there's another effect. So, um, it's not necessarily that you switch the tasks. It's that technically when you're playing a game, you need to be focused on the game. So, if you switch the task because you're bored, I probably wouldn't do that. Uh, use a cell phone or something or uh, another computer. But you got to be careful with that too because if you're a cheat, you get caught at that too. So there's another way that they uh, determine, and, and I'm not gonna say that these are the, that these are the um, end all be alls as to why. I'm only gonna tell you what the flags are, okay? And this doesn't help you cheat. If you're good at cheating, then you're an artist, because I don't know how to do it. Um, Okay, so, oh, it's, uh, let's do this one, and if you go to analysis board, and then you look at here. right here so their rumor and I, I can't confirm this I can't I can't confirm or deny this that it's a big rumor that may be true but the rumor is that um, if you have a, an average cent upon loss that drops below 10 the computer automatically flags you and then um, then you're investigated for computer abuse or cheating of whatever kind and if it's determined that you're cheating, because like I said, this is only two things that they may put into um, deciding on whether or not to sanction your account. Um, and I think they go over multiple games. So if your average cent upon loss is below 10, then the rumor is you're automatically flagged. Now that doesn't mean that you're a cheat. All that means is is that you're playing good enough that you're either perfect you're either computer perfect or you're close to computer perfect and you can have I think one or two inaccuracies and have below 10 um, I think I've seen up to I think I've seen up to five inaccuracies and one mistake and still saw somebody with a nine so I, I, I'm not sure how that works. I don't know at all how that works, but that is the indicators. Uh, one indic indicator is your sent upon loss. And then the other indicator that is well known is that they do have a task switching detector that detects how you switch the task. And I think they call it phasing, but that shouldn't help you 
cheat. So the thing is, is that it might even hurt <laughs> because if you, know, <coughs> if you know what these indicators are, you could try to use them to cheat and then it would be more obvious that you're cheating. Okay, so anyway. Uh, was that the third one? Yeah, okay, so this was very good. Um, let's see. One more thing that I wanted to go over real quick was uh, uh, what I meant by um, what I meant by uh, the difference between ICC's um, examine feature and this is a special for uh, the person that asked the question but it's uh, the difference between ICC's examine feature since he's familiar with the with the examine feature I thought that I would show him what the difference is in Lee Chess so as you know Lee Chess is free um, if you wanted to compare the equivalent FICS is also 100% free without ads as well. Like compared to chess.com, chess.com is free with a lot of ads and it's very bulky. But Lee Chess and chess.com are 100% free without ads. Okay, so like I said, ICC and FICS are almost exactly the same. The only difference between ICC and FICS is the commands in order to control. So uh, I think ICC may have a different command to uh, to save the the main line, and FICS uses commit to to append main line. So like when you're moving, when you make moves, um, and you are satisfied that that's the main line. You, hit, you select commit and that'll save that as a main line and then you can go back and analyze the game okay with that being said everything that you do inside of leech is very 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 similar so there's two analysis tools there's this which is under tools and you have analysis board opening explorer board editor these two board editor and analysis board are very directly related okay now you can do the exact same thing as with Lee Chess I'm sorry as with uh, FICS and ICC with the analysis board and then if you need a, um, a to set up a board right um, you can use the one of these two like if you have a, a game you can import the game and you can use the board editor to have a specific position and play from there and it's just like uh, ICC and FICS except you don't have to press commit in order to um, uh, you know to save a main line and then you can go back and you can add variations and tickle it a little bit now the downside to that is the same thing as ICC and FICS which is nothing is saved automatically in order to fix that they have studies you can uh, uh, I'm not sure if you can do it with the import game feature uh, like if you import the game it might import the game and then you have the option to take it to a study so the whole point is is that uh, everything that you want saved is put into a study and uh, most games like this one here if I was to go here I think Well, at one time, it was really easy to just click import into a study.
but you technically all you have to do to import it into a study easily is copy and then when you go to studies and you select here name the study right select the visibility you know select your choices I think uh, everyone can clone if you're public which I don't like to do that I don't like to share a lot of my analysis I like to invite people because a lot of my analysis is um, quite in depth so once you get to that point it'll show a, a section to paste chapters and if you want to paste in uh, a game from Lee Chess, you select a URL and then put the URL and it'll automatically populate. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, I'm not going to do that now because this wasn't a video about that. But I want to show you what the... Um, uh, what the study looks like. So once you populate it, right, um, you can go into and uh, let's see, is there one that's good? easy to understand so let's do this one um, this one is easy to understand because these are my games from ICCF um, I can do a lot actually so the reason that I put my ICCF games into Lee Chess is because everything saves automatically. So if I was to go here and I was to move forward, all right, so here, I could go down here, select one of these buttons and edit. So these are the flags and uh, these are the notations. So let's say, let's say I really, really like this move. I can put in any one of these and I really, really like this move, right? I can put in a good move, okay? And then it'll automatically put the X clamp up here. Um, I don't know if you can see the X clamp, but look really, really, really hard. The other thing is that you can comment freely. So let's say I really, really like this move. It is the super best move in the whole wide move, oops, wide move universe. I tell that to my kids all the time. You know, I say that uh, you're the best children in the whole wide universe. Okay, so. Um, now this is saved. You don't have to click save, right? You can, you can come up here, you can go back, you can close it, right? You can reopen it, right? And then you can go back to study and then go back to, uh, here. And then when you look at it, it's all the analysis is still there so another thing is um, I don't know I don't think uh, I don't think uh, ICC and FICS have this but they have a database of uh, the top games now this one isn't very big it's actually quite small in comparison to uh, chess base so if you wanted like an idea as to who plays this more you do need to go to something like chess base but for the for the meat of people like let's say uh, a rating of 0 to 2200 and this is this is quite literal uh, 22 even 2300 you don't really 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 need a much larger database than what Lee chess offers now once you get above 22 2300 
um, it starts getting more and more important that you need a larger database. And uh, okay, uh, you might be able to say that the databases could start at 1800, but you don't absolutely positively need a larger database until 2200 and up. Um, I think that's it. Um, you can have you can invite members. Okay, so I have I have a whole slew of people that I've invited. Um, if I was to click on this, I can kick them because I'm the boss and I can decide on whether or not they're um, contributors or not. So if I was to tick the contributor model, it'll allow whoever this guy is. I don't quite remember. Um, but um, he's now a contributor and he can log in here and uh, contribute to the best of their ability. Uh, this was kind of an unfortunate thing. Um, I'm sorry I had to do that, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boot him actually. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, he's done anything, uh, you know, wrong. I don't know what he did. I don't care. Um, but you know, if you highlight over names, you can see ratings and stuff, and uh, you know, mine too. Uh, so you can add members all you want, and then um, uh, this is the chapter. If you want to add a chapter, here's the add the chapter thing. Oops, sorry, that this is the edit. Where's the add chapter? There, add a new chapter. So this is the add a new chapter that I was talking about. Um, all you have to do is, if you want a new chapter and you want to just do it yourself, you empty standard and then select the orientation that you are, uh, white or black. Analysis mode normal, and then name the chapter, create. Uh, the editor allows you to, you know, create a board, so you don't have to go through the um, editor on the other side. Uh, there's a URL, so like, if, like I told you, you can copy the URL to a game inside Lee Chess, and it'll, it'll give you a URL. I, there is a possibility that uh, you could also do something like uh, uh, leeches. I'm not sure. That's actually very interesting. Uh. Oops. Sorry. 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 Okay. So this is the FICSgames.org. This is FICS's database. They've been doing this, I think, since 1992 or three or something like that. And you can search. Uh, you can search games. So uh, uh, my handle there is I thought it was. I, I probably haven't, it's probably because I haven't played there in a while. So let's do 2012. Uh, search. There we are. Okay. Uh, let's do... Yeah, that is me. Uh, I don't know if I'm still rated 2200 though. Uh, view. Copy. Uh, URL. Okay, so I guess you can't do FICS. So since I made the mistake, if you make a mistake, you can just delete the chapter. <laughs> and then you can redo it. But I was wondering if you could do like uh, one of your games. Um, you, you can do this. I mean, it's not like it's impossible. If I wanted to, I could uh, copy PGN, right? like this, do the exact same thing, oops, uh, 
PGN. See how I selected PGN? And then all I have to do is paste it in there and then create chapter and there I am. See, so the whole the whole game is in there. This is apparently when I was playing um, uh, the Zucker Tort system. Yeah, I actually remember this game. sure why I played at night F6. <laughs> oh, I, I know why. I know why. Because he was going to win the night. So, that is an explanation of that. Um, I hope that this answered all of the questions. And I hope that it didn't take too long. Let's see. Forty-six minutes. Uh, that's not really good. But I wanted to kind of go over as much as I could. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little series, and hopefully mostly fifteen-minute uh, topics. And I'm going to have. Uh, this regularly along with my streams uh, there's a possibility that I'm going to start streaming soon uh, I don't I know you're probably not going to have this live to upload it later but I think this is it and if there's any questions you can send them to me through Facebook or um, however you try to contact me um, I will have my Facebook in the description as well and you can just message me um, I'll try to answer when I see it. So I hope you enjoyed this or learned something. And I will see you another time. <laughs>